We're at the Milford Road course testing magnetorheological shocks. and the electric power steering, calibrating both to suit a track environment. Yesterday we were out here doing the same type of work. We weren't getting as far as I was hoping. Once we get the car right here, it's good everywhere. I'm Aaron Link, I'm the chassis development engineer on the Camaro Z01. This is a typical track day, so we'll spend our day watching Aaron turn laps, take a look and see how the car is running. We're looking for any abnormalities in engine performance. I'm Luke Sewell. I'm the powertrain integration development engineer for the CL1 Camaro. With performance cars, you have to be at the racetrack. The loads you put on the car are much higher. You generate more heat. There's a lot more exhaust temperature. We're here to develop the car around that stuff. I'm Rich Quinn. I'm the powertrain cooling development engineer for the Camaro ZL1. This new MR shock system we're using, the Gen 3, is the first application of it for a GM car. Going through the development stages here, we want to incorporate as much data analysis as we can. That tells us a lot about the car very quickly. This particular car we are using today has about $100,000 worth of instrumentation in the trunk. We can find exactly on the track where things may have not behaved correctly or we may have tripped a limit of some sort. The red box is an inertial sensor and GPS unit. The blue boxes are the data acquisition system we use. Yellow and brown wires there are all the thermocouple channels. And it's all fed up to a heads up display that I look at while I'm driving that we record eight to 10 channels of interest. If you look at the car though, I mean, it's, it's completely instrumented and we're looking at the performance of every aspect of the car. What's been really good is working together as a team here at the track. Everybody's data is integrated together and we're looking at each individual area of the car, but all together in one system. For the CL1, we're adopting everything we've learned from other performance cars we've run on the tracks. We've adopted a lot of things we've learned on Corvette. There are a lot of things that we've learned on all these other vehicles. We try to apply to the ZL1 and make sure that it's the best thing it can be. The changes made for the shock tuning we were doing really helped the car out. The electronic calibration is great. We can go out there and make 10 changes in an hour. It eventually leads to a very well-rounded, put-together car that is track-capable from the factory.